Happy New Year. It's the year 2023. First Step Central here talking about one of the strangest shows we've watched on First Steps, Paul T. Goldman, the new Peacock series. Mm. Uh, we're going to talk about episode one. My yeah. name is Eric. I'm Keith. And this is First Steps. What's up, everyone? We're back, and I am taking over the reins because it's a new year. Wow. Yeah. You're yeah. just moving right in. I am. I am. Love I am. It. I hope that you're okay with that. Yeah, because, yeah, you yeah. know, we are talking about a really expensive new show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm taking the reins back. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of First Steps. Um, it is the mm. new year. We just yeah. came back from our little holiday break slash blizzard oh yeah, um, that's right that was not fun yeah we're here in western new york so we got hit pretty hard with the the blizzard of yeah. 2022 it was uh it was rough we didn't have it as bad as uh, a lot of people but we in were area, yeah. yeah we were stuck indoors for like four days you worse than me i was and, yeah and us internet oh i know the <laughs> worst part about it i mean yeah. seriously it, you know i'd rather have Obviously, that's not a big deal. But when you're stuck and you do have power on, yeah. and so you're not worried about your life, but instead you're just sitting there bored out of your mind. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, exactly. No, we're lucky we had heat, power, all yeah. that stuff. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it was, uh, we went a little stir crazy. Yep. Yeah. Um, it was right on like Christmas. So yep. let's ch- change all our, all our plans up. Yeah, everything got delayed. Mm-hmm. And, but yeah, it was awful for so many people. But, you know, yeah. we made it through luckily. So we made it through. You for that. That's, and, that's a nice uh, thing. You know, yeah. And we're back with more first steps. Yeah, That's the biggest and thing. And the snow's all melted now. And the snow literally <laughs> melted. It went from being like, you know, record lows to 50 degrees and everything yeah. melted. Yep. 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 But yeah. So. Um, Besides that. You know, yeah. What, do you have a good. Um, I mean, you really haven't celebrated Christmas No, I haven't Christmas had a good Christmas. Yet. It was a horrible Christmas. <laughs> My parents were snowed in. They, and, yep. and the day and they, they got they unplowed, you. they left for Florida. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> they did. They're like, the parking lot is clear. <laughs> deuces and out they rolled <laughs> Listen, so yeah you always have us here thank you I pre- yeah you, in first steps we, we exchanged some gifts uh my family and your family um mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Um, that was the first gifts i exchanged yeah because we're gonna yeah. we're putting a pause on christmas and my uh I, immediate family until yeah, march until, when they come back it's, it's okay. so long march i know, I know. man i know I've, I've got some good stuff i wanted there too oh that like, hurts oh and you know it, what's there, well, and it's just now sitting we there. Lists, right? So like, I yeah. Get a list and Can I'm you like, like break into their house and just get it? They won't know. Yeah, I mean, let's they do that. Know. Yeah, let's projects. Do that. Let's steal Christmas. <laughs> we'll talk about it in the next episode. Um, but let's talk mm. about this episode. Mm-hmm. Paul T. Goldman, mm. um, attorney at law. Yeah, he's. Uh, you would think that, <laughs> but no, this mm-hmm. is just a weirdo. So, what does he do actually? Do we know? Yeah, he was a house painter. Oh, that's right. He's got a so son. Let's before just, say. let's prep. Let's set yeah. this. Let's set the scene a little bit. Yeah. So I'm thinking about it today, and it's New Year's Day right now as we're recording this. Right. And I'm like, do we want to do a show? I'm tired. You know, yeah, we were partying last long, night. Oh, super party. Um, yeah. And then I saw the trailer for this show, and, and I was like, it, we did it. We yeah, yeah, we have to talk about this. Yeah. And that's literally uh, what my thought was. So yep. I sent you the trailer, and you're like. I guess. I, I have no <laughs> idea what to expect. Let's watch. <laughs> so um, so basically what it is, it's like a very meta show mm. um, where it blurs the lines between what's real and what's like this documentary series. Right. Literally and figuratively. So the show is broken up into three parts. And it's all about this guy, Paul T. Goldman, who we'll get into in a second. But I just want to set the, the tone of the yeah, show. Interviews. Very, yeah. Like true, okay. true crime style interviews. Mm. Um filmed like reenactment type things and then behind the scenes footage of like, like that freaking the third wall fourth wall whatever that is yeah. right, where, they, where he talks to us exactly yes yeah so that's like behind the scenes of the of the filming of yeah. the show right um and it's about this guy Paul T Goldman who in 2012 he tweeted to director Jason Walliner um about he's like I got a great story and I, I wrote a book. He wrote a book in like mm. 2009 mm-hmm. or something about what's it called? Deception. It was called yeah, uh, duplicity, duplicity, the true story of crime and deceit. Ooh. 
And um, that was, yeah, yeah, good title too. Yeah, so it starts off the. We're going to talk about the first episode of the show. There will yeah. be spoilers for the first episode. Right. Uh, it's a half hour show. It starts out and it says in 2012, and it's like this whole mm. blurb about you know what I just talked about, and then it shows news footage, like local news footage mm-hmm. of like what we're calling the dirty divorce, Ken. Mm. Yes, Martha. I mean, we've heard of divorces, and they can be bitter. But have you ever thought about being? Disturbing, yeah, like, something like that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then he started this guy mm. crazy. So, what was your first impression of Paul T. Goldman? Hey, everybody, <laughs> he's really crazy. Yeah, he's got like big front teeth. Yeah, Cut, the glasses are a little bit crooked, mm-hmm. and a real like a real like paunchy like, dad bod. Yeah, and big like bulging eyes. Yeah, hair Just all over intense. the place. Yeah, bam. Yeah, 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 yeah very yeah. intense. Yeah, yeah. So we're seeing him like talk about like this. His marriage he had turned into a crime ring, and he wrote a book about it, and he went from we- wimp to s- strong or something like well, that. Yeah, he had like it some kind sort of reminds me of like the, like they're trying to play it like um, Breaking Bad, but instead of him becoming like the kingpin of like yeah. the you know the, or- the crime organization, he's like the linchpin to like solve this crime because he seems like pretty dumb though. <laughs> like doesn't he? He doesn't seem like super intelligent. I mean, they're playing. He's playing it. I don't know if that's him or not. We still. The that's jury's the still thing. Out. So we this uh, this entire conversation that we're gonna have, we don't know if this is the real actual person who or if this is an actor. A, yeah. So he the person reminds me a lot of like an even more if you can believe it a more awkward version of what's his name from the Giamatti. Office. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Paul Giamatti. I could see that too, uh-huh. actually. But but like, so like, if Paul Dwight? Giamatti played. Um, the main, the, the the main Michael Scott. Yeah, it's Michael Scott. Okay. Like yeah, I yeah, can see yeah. That, yeah, like I can see that for sure. Like that would be a combination of who this man is. Yeah, it's weird. So yeah, the whole time we don't know if this is. So the way he talks and stuff, and the way he is so overly excited, I'm, the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, this guy is an actor. Like, there's right. no way this is a real person. Yeah, yeah. But like, it's. I mean, they show footage from a decade ago. Of him, like, this is a real person that this happened to. So it's so weird. It's so weird. So <laughs> we'll just say that. But then it goes into, like, so he's reading his mm. book into, mm. like, a, you know, a microphone, oh, right. talking, yes. setting the tone. Yeah, yeah. And then they show that, like, okay, he also wrote a screenplay. <laughs> based on the book. Based on the book. And decided that he wanted to play himself in the, in the filming mm-hmm. of this screenplay. Mm-hmm. So then they cut to, like, him, like acting in the scene so like the first time we see it is like he's going to meet this woman who's supposedly you know going to be his future ex-wife yeah. audrey audrey okay and uh yeah he met her on the internet or wherever he's supposed to go meet her and like he's this is the first time we see him like quote unquote acting mm-hmm. and it's so over the top yeah bad yeah terrible yeah. Yeah. like you ever seen like um room or the room the movie know. where it's like uh, anyway, so it's like this guy is just a really bad actor, but he like wrote and directed and put himself oh, in this thing. Oh, yes, I know who you're talking about. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody right right loved him for a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah. It um, reminds me of like, yeah, um, from Holland Drive, that's how Naomi Watts played the character in the beginning, which just got there. She's a doe-eyed uh, ingenue from Canada. She mm-hmm. just got off just got off from Deep River, Ontario, and she loved everything about it. And then by the end, she was like a cracked out whore. Oh, so do you think Paul T. Goldman's going to turn into a cracked yeah. out whore? Yes, yes. I can't yes. wait. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was part of her whole Because he arc. definitely seems cragged out. Yeah. And we just need to get him in exactly. to just horror a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's, and he's just, yeah. he's just terrible over the top acting. There was mm-hmm. one part where he was like, he's reading like the the screenplay or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he's like, and I needed to take a moment. So then it just shows him, he's like eating wonton soup and he's just like, <laughs> sitting like this like taking yeah, a right, like right, literally right. taking a moment yeah and then he's like i blew on my soup to take longer and they show him like blowing his yeah. soup. And it's <laughs> yeah. super funny but is it intended to be like that funny? yeah i don't know yeah the whole thing uh is strange but yeah so it's these three segments the interviews the behind the scenes stuff and then the actual show or movie mm. or whatever they're supposed to be following um about him Dating and then marrying this woman, Audrey, mm-hmm. and turns into like she's either like scamming him out of money and he's mm-hmm. like trying to figure mm-hmm. it out. Right. And like it's a part time marriage. Right. Where it's like she's half, the time, half the time she's or at something. Cocoa Beach. <laughs> so it's very, very strange. They get divorced at least once during yeah. this uh, yeah. this period. Yep. 
Um, I think and, it was twice, actually. Yeah, because she was like, yeah, I think you're right. Because he changed the lock twice. Uh-huh. At first, because he she demanded that she wanted her name on like his businesses and stuff. Yeah, he's like, wait a minute, no. not for a part time marriage and divorce, divorce, yeah. changing locks. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So the dialogue in the then the written scenes, I don't know what was worse, the acting or his written dialogue that he wrote in the screenplay. It was so bad. But then, like, is it supposed to be bad? I'm I so conflicted so. about I th- this. I think it's all supposed to be awful to make you. I think it's supposed to be kind of cringy, like a little bit of um, the comeback. Mm-hmm. Like it's got that like meta where like just cringe. But that top. was, yeah, that was written. It's an entirely fictional thing. Yeah. Is this in, like an entirely fictional thing, I, or is this based is in reality? Yes. I think it's entirely fictional, and they're just making it. And it's just something that this guy was like. We're going to do this over 10 years. Just imagine this. We're going to write a book. Well, We're going to write a fucking screenplay. And you're going to do like all this over like, it's crazy. So wait, so. Or did none of that happen? And it was like doctored footage. Yeah, that's what I thought. Really? But I don't know now that Dude, you look on the internet, the book came out in 2012. There's no denying that. But is it actually the same author in 2012? Like. Paul T. Goldman? Yeah, did you look at the picture of him? Yeah. And it's him younger? Mm, I didn't look at the picture of him. And can they just put that book out there and just pretend? Like, is that on, like, Amazon? Or is that, like, on, like, the actual web page? It's a fake web page to put together for this. Oh, no. It was, like, out there from... Here, let me look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duplicity. <laughs> oh, shit. Duplicity. This, we're, we're doing this live. People are taking more information Facebook about this. Duplicity. There you go. That's not it. Duplicity. Duplicity. Point. Book. T-book. There we go. Um, no, that's, uh, that's not it. There's a lot of books called Duplicity. I probably should have looked up the author. Paul T. Goldman. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here it is. Um, so on Amazon, yeah, it's the same book that he was holding um, from 2012. Mm. Or no, 20, 2009. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and here's this guy, the Paul T. Goldman Chronicles. Is that the same also guy? Also a paperback. Yeah, the same guy. A little younger. <laughs> so weird. So I don't know, So maybe dude. it is. All right. All right. I'll go one star. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get into the reviews of the book. But I definitely think, I mean, there's so much more that happens in this episode. Like BCBS, where like there's she's trying to scam money out of him mm-hmm. and stuff. But just go watch the episode. Like I'm Definitely, not, it's worth we'll, watching. We'll p- give our official yeah. n- numerical review afterwards. But regardless yeah. of the review, yeah. it needs to be checked out. I think so, too. It was fairly interesting. Um, like, unless you hate like squirm, television. like cringy yeah. shit, yeah. It was the entire episode—it was thirty minutes bad. So Pure. the director Jason Wolliner, he also did the Borat, the new Borat movie, subsequent movie film. Oh right, you said that. So like, I can't he's got stand that, Borat. Like Borat, Borat. I can't stand him. He makes me so uncomfortable. I know you don't like him. But this did not have the same vibe to to me. Like I, I totally get yeah. it. I'll just say that. But and I he, guess the character makes a difference. Yes. And he's worked with, like, uh, Nathan Fielder. He did, like, Nathan For You and The Rehearsal. You ever watch any of those? Mm-mm. Those are more, like, kind of, like, cringy, uh, reality-based shows. Okay, yeah. Um, so, like, that's, like, his thing. Mm-hmm. So if anybody was going to, like, make a fake show about this fake thing and, like, this is this guy. Yeah, He's right. done it with, like, Borat and all that stuff. Right. So, you know, right. it's definitely um, possible. Right, gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah, I want to know. If anybody knows... Like, I, I did a little Googling, yeah. and I couldn't find anything. I did none. But if anybody knows for sure, yeah, send us uh, a message and let us let us. Is know. this going to blow up in the cultural landscape? Like, is everybody this show? talking about this show? I don't know. It just came well, out today. Put it out there. What do you think? Yes. You think so? No. <laughs> like, Tiger King levels? Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, huge. Like, Squid Games? No. It's not going to be that big. Okay. But right. I, think it, I think you're better for having... Watch it and know who Paul T. Goldman when you're at the water cooler next week. And everybody's like, You see that new Paul T. Goldman show? And you're like, It's Goldman. Goldman. Exactly. Yeah. Audrey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Audrey. Yeah. She's, she's being a total Audrey. Exactly. <laughs> um, yep. But yeah, the show, and, and then, but the way it ends too, it ends with a bunch of like 
interviews of people in a the true crime documentary mm. style. Yeah, some people are like their faces. And they blurred. show that, and yeah, just, like, but then they also happen? show like scenes from like the movie or whatever they're making. I have where, no like, idea. The this boat blows up. Blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. All right, but that's it. Go watch the show. Um, but stick around because we don't go right now. Yeah, we yeah. got more to talk about. Yeah, yeah. And I do yeah. want to talk about. So what are we talking um, about? The most anticipated shows to come. Aside from this one, what else is coming out? Yeah, yeah. In okay. 2023, yeah. I found a great list. Okay. Um, and before we do that, though, oh. I want to just um, have our uh, in memoriam mm. moment here okay. um, for all the shows uh, oh, that were canceled. Oh. In. Um, in 2022 okay um right. so hang on let me just get this going that up. okay now these shows they were pardon me oh <laughs> just wait for it okay why the last man thank god that was terrible uh -huh. archive 81 mm, was canceled sure. i mean that yeah fine the Nevers. This one hurt. Oh, well, that never really. It, that never really. I thought like build into anything. I know. Well, yeah. Well, it's supposed to. They actually have six episodes completed with that, hmm. and it's like supposed to be the part two. So I'm hoping they at least put that out. Okay. Uh, Fate the Wink Saga. Oh no, you the love first, that. That was the first it show we ever first watched one. on First Steps. That, that made it to the second season, right? It did. It did oh, make it the second okay. season. I haven't watched se season no, two. I'm sorry about um, that. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> one of our worst rated shows that we've ever watched. I forgot about that one. That was in the parties in the California yes. Hills or something. Yeah. Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> Canceled. One and done. This is all this year? Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Uh, the Midnight Club. I love how everything we reviewed has been canceled. There were, a, I mean, we did a lot of shows. There were a lot okay. that I was surprised yeah. that were not canceled. Oh. Um, but The Midnight Club, yeah. which I didn't know that that was supposed to have a second season. Um, did you watch all of it? Yeah. Okay. And it was fine. Yeah. It was my least favorite of the uh, Flaniverse. Yeah, that's what I heard from a lot of people. Um, Paper Girls was canceled. Really? That you know? just began a little bit ago. Yeah, it was canceled yeah. right after it like ended up. Okay. Uh, First Kill was canceled. That was the oh, vampire, vampire lesbians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then The Chair was not officially canceled. Oh, Sandra O oh was one. Sandra O, oh, but that's she came out and said like, you know, there's no season two really uh, planned, and then a couple that we're un we're unsure of: A League of Their Own <laughs> and Conjuring Kesha. We don't know if those will be back um, for for. Future. I do have to say, with Conjuring Kesha, I would I wouldn't be surprised either way. If there was just a thing of hers, or if she'd do it again. But Discovery does have a tendency to not say anything, and all of a sudden they're, mm -hmm. and they're just back. filming exactly. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I couldn't find anything else about. Um, uh, that stupid uh, little, uh, Jack Osborne's Haunted Homecoming. Oh, they yeah, were yeah, doing yeah. More of those. No, he'll probably just be a one-off for that. He does a lot of one-offs. A ton of one-offs. Yeah. Um, Honey for Bigfoot with, like, what's his name from um, mm -hmm. Bill and Silent Bob? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Jay Jason? Yeah. Was it him or Kevin Smith? Who's the one with the blonde hair? Jay Muse? That's who it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're like good buds. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. All right, but let's get back to the... <laughs> the most anticipated shows oh, coming yeah. in 2023. Yeah, this yeah. is on Variety. Now, these won't be canceled, right? Guaranteed because they're right. so hot. Well, it's funny that you say that because I'm thinking that so many – like I always, you always hear about the TV shows mm. getting canceled. Mm. And I went through the list of all the shows that were canceled in 2022. Yeah. There were so many more that I'm like, they're making a second season of that? Like, really? shocked. Okay. So, um, yeah. Right. but So, who knows? Um, but I'm just going to – I'm going to – just go through the yeah, highlights yeah. that I thought. Uh, it's going to be on AMC. This one's coming next week, oh. January 8th. It's uh, called Mayfair Witches. Oh, uh, this is based oh my on gosh. Anne yeah, I know Rice. Anne Rice. Yes. Oh, that'd be awesome. So it's um, hmm. that, uh, it's an eight-episode series centered on neurosurgeon Rowan Fielding, played by uh, <laughs> Alex Alexandra Daddario. I read, I read this book. Did you like it? Bizarre. Really? I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, she has to find a balance in her life after learning she is the heir to a family of witches. <laughs> so we I might, you know, this might be way. next week's there's uh, ghost, there's first ghosts, step. There's like powers. There's like sex scenes. <laughs> well, it sounds like, I mean, it's Anne Rice exactly. now. So um, <laughs> next up. And then after that, January 12th, Velma 
comes to HBO oh, Max. Oh, yeah. This is going to be... Oh, there's some good stuff coming right? out this month. Yeah. We're, we're, we're reviewing all of these, right? Yeah, so okay. far. I mean, right. yeah. The, definitely okay. the, the Velma uh, okay. has been on my list. Okay. That sounds great. Um, the Last of Us then comes out January 15th. The Last of Us. Um, on the video game. The video game okay. one with... Uh, Bella I'm sure you want to watch that one. Pedro Pascal. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited for that one. Yeah, um, that's one that everybody's gonna be talking about. So yeah. it might you know maybe we won't add it as a show because oh, there's I so see. many okay. other options. It depends because okay. there's right. a lot of stuff. All right, uh, something I'm not mm. in, into that '90s shows coming to Netflix. I was never into that '70s show. Yeah, yeah. so um, okay, yeah. But I guess you know everybody's back, and it takes you know 20 years after whatever happened. Sure. Yeah, Wilmer Valderrama. I know you always loved him. <laughs> Then one rapist. They didn't bring him back though, so that's good. Oh, with the hair. Yeah. He's like really tight curly I hair. I think right? he's in jail. What's his name? Uh, I don't know. Oh my god. I just know that he's he in jail. He was big for a while. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. He was always creepy on that show too. I, I didn't like him. Wait, was he the one that's on Roseanne? Mm. Is that Johnny Get Lucky that was on Roseanne? Yeah, that's yeah. different. That's, okay. He was on the Big Bang. He's also kind of creepy too, right? But in a yeah, different they way. They always are. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. all are. I'll, I mean, the Big Bang people always creep me out. Yeah, not a fan. <laughs> anyway. Um, another one that I was very exci- excited for, uh, Wolfpack coming to Paramount Plus Wolfpack. January 26th. This is Sarah Michelle Gellar okay. returning to the supernatural world. Wow, yeah. But this time she's not fighting vampires yet. It's based on the book series by... Edo Van Belkum, Wolfpack follows a new generation of werewolves who are discovered during a California wildfire. Uh, it's written by mm. and produced by Jeff Davis. He did the MTV Teen Wolf series that was all mm. like a sexed up Teen Wolf. Okay. This guy loves wolves, yeah. I guess. They're my least favorite of like the Me too. supernatural. Me too. But all right. But I mean, it's it's Sarah Michelle Gellar. Sure, we'll watch her. I mean, check it you out. Know, I think she's a little more like Republican now. Is she? Yeah, mm. I think so. But she's still with Freddie Prince. Yeah, he's weird looking. Have you seen him? Uh, he's he's big into wrestling. He he wants okay. to start his own wrestling stuff, and he has a wrestling okay. podcast. Um, he's like so gone. that's all I know about he's him. Gotten a lot older looking now. I well, he is a lot older. Yeah, I guess so. But. Yeah. Um, Poker Face comes to Peacock. This oh, that's is... a documentary about Lady Gaga. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, no, this sounds much better than that. <laughs> Natasha Leone. Oh, I love her. Um, is a series by uh, Ryan Johnson. He did mm. the Knives Out uh, mm. movies, mm-hmm. and you love um, them. Yes, mm-hmm. and uh, so this is his television debut, and it's like a, a case of the week mystery series oh. uh, where Natasha Leone plays uh, someone who can always tell when someone's lying. Ooh. A skill that helps her when she encounters one strange criminal after another. Oh, interesting. Um, so okay. then it has guest stars Adrian Brody, Chloe Sevigny, Ron Perlman, Lil Ray, Joseph Gordon Levitt, a bunch of other people. So okay. it sounds really yeah. interesting. Yeah. And then Natasha Leone is awesome. She's great. I really American love Pies, Natasha exactly. Leone. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> um, January 27th. This is all still January. January 27th, oh, wow. um, a show comes to Apple TV called Shrinking. Mm. Uh, this is with um, Jason Siegel and Harrison Ford. Okay. Um, who I love Jason Siegel. I'll check out anything sure. he's involved in. You know Jason, who he is? Uh, From he, How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know who he is. Yeah. I know who so he is. So <laughs> he wrote the show and it portrays a grieving therapist who hits his breaking point and begins to tell his clients exactly what he thinks despite the unethical manner. Mm. Uh, and his methods start to, you know, do things and mm. everything, you mm-hmm. know. So. That one I'm excited Ooh, for. That reminds me of Behind Your Eyes. That was so good. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, Dear Edward comes to Apple mm. TV on February 3rd. So this has Friday Night Lights creator Jason Kadams uh, reunited mm. with uh, Connie Britton to do this. Connie Britton. Uh, exactly. Wait, She's not really British. But... Is Connie Britton the one who was in White Lotus the first yes. season? Okay. Yes. I like her. Yeah, She's okay. great. Yeah. 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 She was like, I mean, she's such a, a, a beautiful, like, you know, middle-aged woman. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So yeah. When, like when I was a little younger watching Friday Night Lights, she was just like, a, she was a mom. I'm not going to say she's a MILF, you know, because we don't use that yeah. term on here. Yeah. Well, you know, she was a uh, MILF, okay. dude. She's a hot, hot older lady. <laughs> I mean, not that she, I'm much younger than her. I could still, you know, it would it be strange if her and I were dating? I don't know. I, I love mean, this conversation. It's so you awkward. You know, just I, let me know, <laughs> Connie Britton. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Hello Tomorrow. Now we're still in January. No, no, February. Oh, okay. February 17th. Hello Tomorrow. Billy Crudup, one of your favorites. Mm. Is he? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is a new Wait, Apple TV. Billy Zane I'm thinking of, too. Oh, Wait, yeah. Who's Billy Crudup? This guy, Billy Crudup. Okay. 
So yeah. I don't think I know him. Well, he this is a 10-episode half-hour series Okay. Uh, set in the future. The show follows a group of traveling salesmen selling lunar timeshares. Hmm. Interesting. Right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, anything on the on the moon, anything mm. moon related. Uh, yeah, I love I love into. lunar things. Yeah, uh, another one coming to HBO in March. Mm. White House Plumbers. Okay, love the title. Probably okay. the best title out of any show. Okay, we're so it's about. like a bit of like a Mario Brothers kind of a thing. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so if the Mario Brothers were the president and the chief of staff and the okay. ha- secretary, <laughs> uh, no, um, <laughs> it's a Watergate story. Oh, this one, Woody Harrelson, yeah. Justin Thoreau. I like him. Um, yeah. Yeah. As E. Howard Hunt and G. Gordon Liddy, uh, mm. two men who accidentally destroyed Nixon's pres- presidency despite working on his team. Gotcha. So, Oops, what happened? Wah, yeah. wah. <laughs> um, okay. One I'm incredibly excited mm. for, and I'm like very nervous because this is one of the my favorite um, books that I read last okay. year, Daisy Jones and the Six. Mm. Is coming to Prime Video yeah. March third. So this is a yeah. um, um, it's the way that the the book was was written. It's a Taylor Jenkins read mm. book. She did the Seven mm. uh, Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, this tennis book. Carrie Soto is back. But anyway, she does this <laughs> more like an interview style. So yeah. this book is is done like a kind of behind the music thing okay. of this okay. fictional band, yep. uh, Daisy Jones. You and love fictional Six. bands too, and yeah. dude, it, yeah. it reminded me so much of Almost Famous. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, and I listened to the audiobook. And the audiobook was done so well because it had a whole cast of characters. Mm-hmm. So fantastic. So yeah, it's a seventies band um, in this world, and I can't wait to hear the songs. Okay, and, dude, I'm so excited. All right, cool, cool. Um, and then this is the one I think you will be excited okay. for uh, coming to Peacock. Yeah, okay, I have a- that one. April twentieth. Okay, <laughs> smoke it up, baby. Oh, right. yeah, Mrs. For- Davis. Okay, right for four. So I'm not. The title's not giving me anything right now. Okay, I'm gonna okay. read the the little synopsis. Okay, when two TV titans like Damon Lindelof and Tara Hernandez <laughs> come together to create a new show, it's likely to make a most anticipated wow. list. Yeah. The creator of Lost and Watchmen is okay. teaming up with the Big Bang Theory writer for this eight-episode drama. <laughs> the Big which, Bang? Okay, fine. Yeah, let's yeah. discount that. We're okay. not going to... I should have just left that part yeah. out. Because this is a drama. Okay. It tells the absurd and epic tale of one unconventional heroine, Betty Gilpin, who previously worked with Lindelof on the film The Hunt, leads yeah. the series as a nun, oh. Simone, who goes up against an all-powerful AI known as Mrs. Davis. <laughs> What? Nuns versus <laughs> robots, dude. <laughs> what? Oh, that's hilarious. The church versus technology. It's the age old oh battle gosh, that's wow. been raging oh, since the yeah. dawn of man. 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and Mrs. McGillicuddy versus Sister Geraldine. This is going to be incredible. Right? Now, that's what I've been It's on Peacock. Saying. It's an eight episode special limited series. Eight episode. Yep. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. April 20th. Ooh, I know I'll be. Set your calendars. Where will you all be? Yeah, right here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, another one coming yeah. to HBO Max Love and Death. Mm. Oh, what is this one about? I don't know. It's got Elizabeth Olsen in it. Oh, so, she's great. She's yeah, great. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. we that's love good. her. Uh, it's about the woman who murdered her neighbor, Betty Gore, after having an affair with Gore's husband. Crime mm. that shook up Wiley, Texas in 1980. Okay. 30 years later, there's not one true crime series about it, but two. Oh. Um, oh, there's a Hulu one of this okay. uh, that came out as well. Of course. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Betty. Um, Thank you. Tiny Beautiful Things coming to Hulu. Speaking of Hulu. Oh, yeah. Uh, Catherine Hahn is back. This Catherine is based Hahn. on a book. Okay. Um, sounds sad. Yeah, of course. Grease, Rise of the Pink oh, I Ladies. I the picture. There they are. Okay. Paramount Plus. Rise of the Pink Ladies. <laughs> it's a prequel. <laughs> To the Greece oh movies. Oh my gosh! God, are they singing in it, or is probably? It, yeah, Do yeah. does the world need more Greeks? Is that answer me that? I mean, I don't know. There's really only been like one thing, right? Yeah. Well, no, there was a sequel, oh, at least there? one sequel. Grease Lightning. Yeah, but Big it didn't Barrio. have like the main people weren't in it. Yeah, no, they weren't. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you what, though. I'll yeah. tell you the answer to the question. No, it doesn't <laughs> need any more Greece stuff. Well, I mean, so like. You know, there are plenty of, like, Oz stuff, too, right? There's, like, The Wiz, Return to Oz, right? Sure, too. So, like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's plenty of them. Yeah. I, I, I'm two. sure there's some other, like, there's a cartoon or something out there. Like, yeah. this, Greece has got to get have the same but thing, is right? is 50s, like, d- nostalgia still something that, like, anybody wants? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to watch it, but yeah. I'm sure you'll make us. I mean, I guess, like, League of Their Own. 
That's you know. Yeah, that got canceled, tag. right? No, well, no, we oh. just found out it has not. That's not been canceled. No. <clears throat> Next up, coming to Paramount Plus, yeah. Fatal Attraction. Oh, Sharon Stone's classic. Is she reprising the role? Uh, no, this one's going to have Joshua Jackson and playing Lizzie. Kate, I'm playing playing Sher- Sharon wow, Stone. Wow, <laughs> a little gender swap. Uh-huh, I like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Lizzie Kaplan playing Sharon Stone's breasts. Wow. <laughs> 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 Is that the one where Sharon crosses her legs in a seductive way, no. or is that a different one? What no, was that this one? is the one with Glenn Close. So yes. I don't even know. Was Sharon Stone in it? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What am I thinking of? You're thinking of... What uh, was that one? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where she's like sitting there, Sharon crosses her legs. Yeah, it was like, oh! Yeah. Yeah, what was that one? Smurf Puffs. Thank you. That was... Yeah. <laughs> Smurf Puffs. <laughs> Just pretend I like, I put it in a post. <laughs> like an over like dubbing. Right, 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 right. Okay. I can't remember what right. that was called. They came yeah. out on the same time. Basic though, Instinct. Basic Instinct. That's yes. it. Yeah, Attraction. Yeah. Basic Instinct. Got it. Very similar title. Did they come out around the same time? I kind of remember them. Like I think that one came out a little bit later. Okay. Maybe that one was like early nineties. Okay. Because I, you know, I definitely was not allowed to watch that. No, I wasn't allowed to watch either of them. But yeah. I think that one I saw Basic Instinct. I remember looking through the um at the movie theater, like through the crevasse uh, in the door. Just what trying to see some Sharon Stone pubes. <laughs> see what was going on. Yeah. I think it was I like, heard there's you know, some Muppets pubes in this out and We're like looking through. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one I think is more about like, um, there's like a thriller aspect. More like oh, murdery. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But that, I love Lizzie Kaplan. I was just saying the other day, mm. I'm like, what's Lizzie Kaplan been doing? Here she is. Here she is. Playing co- close. Um, then later this year, yeah. Justified comes back. That was uh, mm-hmm. Raylan Givens. He's like the marshal, um, played by uh, Timothy Oliphant. It was on FX for like we eight seasons. It? No. Oh, okay. Um, but like he, that series just ended, and now it's oh. like there's a whole another one starting. Or like a new. Uh, comes it picks up 15 years after the previous mm. one ended. So okay, loved. Justified. I'm very excited for that one, but we won't be doing that one. That's this is technically going to be not be like a real first step because it's like oh. there's a whole breadth of um, okay i mean of i'm open to watching if you want to no shut your mouth oh. <laughs> and that's it that's the the big ones coming to streaming right. services wow. in 2023 yeah, i can't wait for a lot of those um all right i want to hear your take i'm really excited mm-hmm. to hear your um rating for paul t goldman because i don't know i think well no just give it to I me i don't know what it is I know, right? This it's, is this is a tough one. It's tough. Um, so this the, this the, the genre is something I really enjoy. Mm-hmm. The subject matter is not something I typically watch. Mm-hmm. Um, but the lead character was just zany and odd enough that I kind of want to see what it gets into. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna give it. I would if I could give it point fives. Can I do that? Not just a point five, but can I do? Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. I'm gonna give it a six point five. I was also gonna give it a six point five, <laughs> and then I was like, mm, I think I already have the graphic made of a six, so I'm not gonna say six point five because then I have to do more work so, and add the decibel. But if you're doing it, I'm doing it. Six point five. That was gonna be my score. That's story. amazing. <laughs> um. Because I feel like it's like seven to me is like a really really good show that I can't. I want to watch more of. Yeah. Or, or, this is not like, there yet. It yeah, could be. It has yeah, potential. Yeah. But I'm intrigued, definitely. I'm intrigued, but again, yeah, the guy weirds me out. Uncomfortable. Um, but there's parts where it's like it's it's so weird and he's so nerdy and like strange that it's funny. Yeah. And other parts where it's like, um, like I want to see what happens when he's in these situations where a boat is exploding. Yeah. Like, what's gonna happen? Yeah. So ah! it was intriguing, yeah. and like for what it was, I think that gave it more points. The fact that it is blurring the lines, yeah, not so much the story or really like any of that stuff, but the fact that it's done the this way, and done so well, yes, um, is what's given it a six point five. And for it floats me. perfectly together, like behind the scenes, filming the shots with the actors and actresses, yes. and then also we're back to this real life, and he's talking about, and like I don't know, yeah, it was, it, it's very, it's intriguing. all over the place, yeah, and it's made, but yeah, it's made very well, yeah, so. Yeah, all right. That's so funny. <laughs> 6.5 from First Steps for the first episode of Paul T. Goldman on Peacock. Yeah. I think there's three episodes out okay. right now. They're going to be coming out every Sunday going okay. forward. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, go check it out. I want to hear what you think about yes. Paul T. Goldman. Yeah. 
All right, and that is it for us wow. here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> this is the best way to kick off the New Year, it right? It is, really, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I might be winning my fantasy football uh, league. We'll wow. see. We'll see. i got to check scores That's after gonna, this. It's ooh. real close. That's going to ring it in nicely. Ooh, I know. Yeah. If only. Yeah. <laughs> All right, check us out on our socials. We're at um, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, anywhere podcasts are found, you can listen to the audio version of this show. Or go to Pop Culture Playground on YouTube and uh, watch the video version there. Uh, is that it? Anything else? Time to time to hang up the phone. Time to hang up the phone. <laughs> I thought you were telling people to call you. Call it. Comment. <laughs> I'll put your number at the bottom of the screen. Don't worry. Seven seven seven. Yeah. If they made it this far, in, if they made it this far into this show, they deserve to be able to get <laughs> your phone number. So this, obviously, this is just for the video <laughs> watchers. But yeah. Uh, it's going to be flashing across the bottom. Keith's phone number. <laughs> so call him. All right. Perfect. That is it. We're out of here. Thanks All so much. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. Happy New Year. It's That's 2023. Right. It's here. We're queer. And we're here to talk about... Call it, I was going to say a, no, a new new show. No, we don't need to say a new no show. No show. It is a new um, show. We, are, I don't know that. we do that to our thing. Everybody knows that.